I think Turkish democracy is in shambles, but not Turkish economy. I love my country. It's just recently we've been through a lot. Turkey has been going through a very, uh, what we could call a radical transformation, which has been uh, felt in every sphere of life. I think I can make a good future for me, but it will be risky for sure. But the first thing I think everyone needs to know about Turkey is that is, Turkey is a society which is urbanized. Istanbul, when I first came here in the 1960s, was a city of less than 2 million people. Now it's a city of perhaps over 15, 16, 17 million people. People have come in from the countryside in search of opportunity. They've moved. Hey, my name is Seher Dal. Cid bakım uzmanı. 1969 Erzincan Refai'ye Güzde köyünde doğdum. 6 yaşında İstanbul'a geldim. Ve ben 16 yaşındayken hem de çalışmaya karar vermiştim. E, fakat hiçbir yerde abimler çalışmama izin vermiyorlardı. Çünkü ben okul okumadığım için zaten mesleğim de yoktur elimde. E, sonra iş ararken, bir gün iş ararken ve gazetecide bir ilan okudum. Cilt bakımı uzman yardımcısı aranıyor diyerekten. Ve ben telefonla başvurdum. Ve gelin başlayın dediler. E, profesyonel oldum. Başarı olarak... Ee, şu anda kendimle gurur duyuyorum. Daha iyi yerlere gelmek istiyorum. Başka bir şubeler daha açmak istiyorum. Ee, üniversiteyi dışarıdan okuyorum. İşletme bölümünü okuyorum. Ya hedeflerim olarak bunları inşallah yapmak istiyorum. Ama e, şunu da diyorum, tekrar diyorum. Türkiye'de kadın olmak ve kadın işletmeci olmak çok zor. My name is Ece Öztaraç. I'm a lawyer. My passion is, I think, for um, learning and also like uh, doing something about what I learned. So it's... and being a lawyer provides me that tool. The protests began in Taksim Square, in the center of Istanbul. I was at the park on, um, I think it was like 29th of May. So the protest was uh, about like protecting the park. But then uh, when police attacked so harshly to the people, like when they burned the tents of the people who were staying in the park, then it turned something else. On the one hand, we have a highly fastly urbanizing society. But on the other hand, you know, we have actually uh, a society which has been uh, confronted by a very serious problems of uh, polarization, lack of democracy, lack of rights and, and freedoms. This disconnect between urbanization on the one hand and uh, drift from democracy and social cohesion is now uh, a problem that is facing Turkey. I think uh, now uh, things are very messy in every sense. It's like very divided now. I want to fight for justice. I don't think uh, I can uh, change the world by myself, but uh, I think I can be a part of a change. And I think there are many people who want to be a part of the change. So like I'm ready for like, at least like what I as expect. So if it will be more, 
like worse than I expect. Maybe I won't be ready for that. <laughs> but for now, like uh, I will um, be happy to come back and like do my profession. Throughout the 90s, the Kurdish region was pretty much war-torn. There was a very serious insurgency going on in southeastern Turkey, and that meant no economic development whatsoever. And on top, uh, there was internal migration towards big cities and to the, towards western, western parts of Turkey from the Kurdish regions, and that's, that really has changed the demographic. Yirmi bilmem kaç yaşından bir mi yaşı gördünüz? Geldim burada inşaatçıyım zaten ben divarcıyım. Geldim inşaatlarda çalışıyordum iyi yani ekmeğim çıkardı iyi. Yani 15 günde para geldi ve hayatımız değişti. Farklı bir hayata doğru gittim. Nasıl? Yani 15 günde dedim ya ben başvurdum iş burada hemen cevap Her şeyin geldi yani. Yani o bir nevi sizin hayatınızın değişti. Orada evlet çok bağlı. Kirasıyla bağlı, buraya göre çok bağlı. E bak bu adam her tüm fotoğraflarda var, bu kim? Gittim işte fabrikaya girdim, o, o da pis bir fabrika, dokun fabrika, siz başka türlü almayınca mecbur oldum, oraya girdim. Bilmiyorum, 17 sene mi dedi, orada çalıştım. Yani ben çıktım, diğeri çıkmayan zannedersem hemen hemen hep hep öldürdü. Eğitimlerini istiyorum yani. Eğitim de çok zor olmuş. Efendim, insanın toprağı yani memleketi bansa oluyor. İnsan yani dışarı burası gibi sevmiyorum. İlla buraya seviyorum yani nerede olursam illa buraya gelmek istiyorum. Dava bu işte. A few years ago, I was optimistic too about the future of my country. But right now, I mean, there is a war going on at the Middle East and it's so close to us. We don't know what, how long it's going to take when it's going to end. We had the third bomb attack in Ankara in the last five months. People start panicking right now. I mean, a lot of friends of mine does not want to leave the house if it's not necessary. Recently, security is a problem for us. We don't feel safe. I'm not sure about our future, how it's going to be. If I could guess what's going to happen in the future in Turkey, I might make a decision to be here. But I see it pretty unstable. I don't know what's going to happen. I think United States or Europe is more stable. The great challenge now facing Turkey is the aspirations of its own people. Here you have a society which, as a lively, youthful population. Half the population in Turkey is under the age of 30. Um, these are people who you know, want to know about the world. Um, and can they do so within the confines that this government has set for them? You will hear a lot of doomsday theories in Turkey. But the reality is, this is a very dynamic economy, a country of 80 million people, where there is, uh, at a time of global crunch, with liquidity looking for places to go, essentially, and uh, it continues to be an interesting uh, place to invest. The performance of Turkey is uh, of utmost importance, not only in terms of Turkey's internal uh, stability and security, but also regional and global stability and security. Turkey has this kind of role, too. I think the young generation, our generation, can change the future. I think we are a promising generation. I think we can change together, collectively, 
and make this country a better place. But we have to work hard. Thank you.